Hi, Golden Boys and Girls. So today we're going to do a creative activity. Um, so what you'll need for this is, I did bring a little tray for myself. If you have a cookie sheet or something just to put down, um, it'll help alleviate some of the mess. Um, what you need, I do not have food coloring, but you can use food coloring for this. But I have my watercolors, so I have my pink color and my um, turquoise color. And I just put them just a little bit on the bottom of each cup, just like that. So we have those. And then I did also bring um, a little cup of water, which we'll use a little bit later. And you need some of these, some Q-tips that you're going to do. We do this in the gold room at school, and they love to do it in the gold room, um, but we're going to do Q-tip painting. And so you can do it a couple different ways. I'm gonna use a piece of paper first, and so I'll put this into my little pan. Um, and then what you're going to do is you're going to use the Q-tips and you just dip one end into the color, just like this, and look what happens. See, it gets all inside. You can see the Q-tip turning a blue color. And then you can use that to color onto your paper, and I'll hold the paper up a little bit so you can see it. See how I'm using it, and you can do art. Be very creative with what you're making on there. So that's the blue color, and then I can also use one and dip it in this, and now you can see, yeah, it's the color, the red or pinkish color. It's called magenta. If I put it on, I'll hold it up so you can see. There it is. Kind of hard to see on there, but that's that color. And so you just keep on working on it, and you can fill your picture up and be very creative with it. So using the Q-tips, you just dip them, and then you paint onto the paper. Now if you don't have paper, it does work best on white paper because that helps you to see the colors really well, but if you don't have paper you could also use a paper towel. So let's see what happens if I do it on the paper towel. So if I take my blue and then go on my paper towel, I'll hold it up and show you in just a second here. I'm going to just do a few lines on here. Now I'll do my red or magenta. go like this and I can make little dots. Let's see what happens here? So it works on this just the same. I'll hold it up and do it for you and you can see how it kind of soaks into the paper towel if I just touch it. But you can move it across the paper towel and make different designs. Sometimes you go on top of the colors, they'll blend together. You can do that too. So you can either try it on a piece of paper or you can try it on a paper towel. Either one works. And then something else you can do, um, and this is where the water comes in, and I also have one of these, which is just an eyedropper. If you don't have an eyedropper, you could either use a spray bottle with water in it and you can spray on it, or you can even use the Q-tips and just dip them into the water and then put them onto the paper towel. But what I have here is I have a paper towel that I put colors on. So I first use my markers. So I use my markers first. These are just regular markers. And I colored a heart onto, I did three hearts, one, two, three, onto my paper towel. After that dries, so after the color dries, you then color over it in a permanent black marker. So this is where you'll need help from your family. But after it dries, you color over it with the permanent black marker. And then, so I have three hearts, one, two, three, and they have black on them. So I'm gonna put it in here. And then what you do is you take either a spray bottle or an eyedropper. And I'm gonna show you by lifting it up so you can see it here. Let me do this. So you see right there, I have a color, the color black, and I'm going to put some water on it and let's see what happens when I drip. I'm dripping water, oh, do you see? My black heart turned purple. So purple was hiding under that one. Let's try this one, see if this one works. Put some color on there, some water I mean. 
Oh, I see pink. It's a very pale pink, but the pink is coming out. So we have purple and pink. Let's try one more. Oh, orange. So the heart underneath was orange. And look how they keep getting bigger if I add more water to them. So that's a fun way to experiment with the hearts too, is to color them first with the marker, let that marker dry, and then color black over it, and you can do a surprise heart and see what color's hiding behind it. So that's kind of fun to do, huh? But again, if you don't have an eyedropper, you could just take your Q-tip and just tap it and it will do the same thing. It'll get the water on there just like that. So you could do that. Now, if you notice, my pink didn't work very well for some reason. I'm not sure, but it didn't really work very well. But the orange and the purple did. You can see a little bit of pink in there. So that's kind of two different projects you could do. So you can um, try those out at home. Um, I hope you enjoy it, Golden Boys and Girls, and have a great day. Enjoy the sunshine. All right, bye-bye.